John Coffer is a man to whom the past is the present. He lives on a remote farm in a cabin he built by hand. He lives without electricity, telephone or running water. He grows his own food. He pumps water for himself and his animals, even in the dead of winter. John Coffer is a photographer. He uses the same tools and techniques as Matthew Brady did in the Civil War. The process was all but lost until Coffer, through years of painstaking research, resurrected the lost alchemy of wet plate collodion photography. We bring John Coffer to New York for the first time in his life. His photographer's eye and this rare photographic process exposed two of old New York's hidden treasures. The City Hall Station was the first New York subway stop. The station was the jewel of the subway in 1901, but has been closed and forgotten since 1945. That's really a masterpiece. The firm of Heinz and Lafarge designed the station, which incorporates the arches and vaulted ceilings of one of their earlier projects, the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Photographer Robert Polidori takes a portrait of Coffer for the New Yorker magazine. The New Yorker is interested in John Coffer because his next stop is one dear to the magazine, the East River Seaport building, immortalized by Joseph Mitchell in his story Up in the Old Hotel, first published in 1941 in the pages of the New Yorker. The first day I came here, I went right to the elevator to go up to the upper floors and rummage around up there see what I could see. But the man who rented the building ahead of me was with me, showing me over the place, and he warned me not to. He didn't trust the elevator. You couldn't pay him to get into it. Don't meddle with that thing, he said. It's a rattlesnake. The rope might break, or that big iron wheel at the top of the shaft that's eaten up with rust that hasn't been oiled in a generation might work loose and drop on your head. It's a highly irritating situation to me. I'd just like to know for certain what's up there. The year goes by sometimes. I hardly think about it. Then I get to wondering, and it has a tendency to prey on my mind. Something like this, this is the one that's going to be in the world. It's going to be in the world. 